Hi Gemini, hope you guys are all doing really well. So this is going to be your general love reading for the first half of May, 2022. And it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. It is a general reading, so it's not going to be for everybody's situation. But if you would like more specific details for your situation, you can book a personal reading with me. And you can find all that information in the description box below this video. Also, the roles in this reading can be reversed because it is general. All right, Gemini, let's see what is going on with you. First couple weeks in May 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, for the situation, these cards do stick together. All right, we have the Eight of Wands crossed by the Seven of Cups. Okay, so there's something here that's happening really, really fast, or um, this could be about communication. So if you are in communication with this person, then it could be that there has been a lot of confusing communication. So maybe mixed signals, mixed messages, um, just a miscommunication. Um, it could even be that somebody is not just not understanding the other person and what it is that they're trying to say. Um, we'll see more when we clarify. Let's see, for your energy, we have the world, justice, okay, so Libra's energy showing up here, and the page of swords. Okay, so you're trying, you're trying to close out a cycle here, you're trying to end something. Um, it's definitely something to do with a major, major decision that you're trying to take here. And I feel like whatever this decision is, it's like, yeah, you know, when I make this decision, I want it to be completely done. Now, the thing, though, about this is that it feels like whatever this is about, I feel like it's something that has already closed out for you. So it's like, and it could be anything. It doesn't have to necessarily be the connection with the other person. It could be anything that you are trying to just kind of bring to a completion. Um, whatever that is, it is going to be in your best interest, okay? So just follow your intuition on that. I feel like you already know that. Um, but I feel like, you know, you're just moving more towards investigating this decision that you're trying to make. Let's see. For the other person, we have the Ace of Cups, the Fool, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, so there's somebody here that does have a lot of love for you. Um, not only that, this is somebody who does want this connection with you. So I don't know what your decision is about. And it could even be that this communication that I was talking about where there is some confusion, it could be the direction that you're trying to move in. Like it, it doesn't necessarily have to be communication, okay? Um, it could be your movement forward in a particular direction, but you know, you're just not really being sure or the other person not being sure exactly how to, how to go about it. Okay, so I mean, it could be a miscommunication though. It could be either or. Okay, because this is a general reading. Um, this person is definitely, though, wanting to do, start something new with you. Let's see the potential outcome. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, looks like this person is trying to come in and either, you know, sweet talk you. So if there was a miscommunication... Um, or confusion about communication, I feel like this person is going to come in and try to make up, basically. All right, let's clarify. Let's see what's going on here. Let's clarify that Eight of Wands with the Seven of Cups. All right, and we have the Queen of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, I do see this as being you. Um, a 
Okay, for a lot of you, it's actually both. It, it's both you you trying to move in a particular direction of finding some kind of a completion, and it could have to do something with communication or about a particular conversation. Um, and it could also be that at the same time, you know, it's like you're doing both. Trying to bring about that conclusion, but also moving in a new direction that you are confused about. And it could be that these two things are related. So I do see that this is creating a lot of stress. Um, I feel for you, it could even be creating stress for the other person here, but I feel like it's mostly creating some stress for you because you're not sure. You're, you're, it's like you're doubting yourself or you're, you, you might be faced with too many options in terms of how to go about this or too many options just overall. Like, you know, maybe this, this completion, this conclusion, whatever this is, you know, that's, it, it feels like that might be one option for some of you. And then, you know, you might have other options as well. So there's a little bit of confusion about that. But deep down, it's like, you know. All right, so let's see the world, which is in your energy. And we have the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords. Okay, yeah, you're, well, you're getting a lot of swords here, which does make sense. You are an air sign. Um, I feel like, you know, you just have to be a little bit careful that you're not overanalyzing, okay? Because with the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords here in the world, I feel like you might be analyzing this quite a bit to the point where sometimes overanalyzing can lead to that confusion. But like I said, it's like you already know. You already know something, you're done with something here. It could even be that you're done um, tolerating a certain behavior, for example. Whatever it is, it, it's done. It's done. There's no need to be confused about it. Let's see justice. We have the Empress and the Four of Pentacles. It's like you know. You know exactly what is in your highest good. You know exactly what it is that is going to be for your best and what it is that is making you feel empowered. It's like you're already empowered. You're already empowered and that's why you're in this space of making this making this decision, doing what you know is right. But again, it's like you're kind of holding back from doing it because you're like, well, what if? I feel like there's this big what if in the way. Let's see the page of swords. And we have the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, and they have the Ace of Wands as well. Okay, so you're moving towards, I, I feel like you are moving towards listening to your heart um, a little bit more rather than just over analyzing. It's like you're beginning to, it, it, it still feels like it's a little bit off balance, like you're um, thinking a little bit more than you're allowing yourself to feel. Okay, so being guided more so by your thoughts and rationalizing rather than being guided by by your heart and intuition. Now, that, don't get confused though. This is not the same as allowing your emotions, okay, to get in the way because sometimes we can be over emotional and then we can be affected from that. That's different, okay? And I know it's sometimes really difficult to distinguish between the two. Um, but basically, if you're not feeling emotionally stable, well then your, your emotions might not be very um, representative of your, of your intuition, okay? Um, so yeah, that's, that's the message I'm getting for you here is to really just allow your intuition to guide you, what you feel like you already know. Um, and if you want to bring emotions into it, the one way of doing this is to, you know, think about one of your options or one of your alternatives, imagine the result of that, 
and then see the emotion that comes up and see what emotion is associated with that. Like, how do you feel when you kind of convince yourself that you've already made this particular decision, right? Or do you feel like this nine of swords? <laughs> um, or do you feel like this queen of cups where, you know, it feels a little bit more calm? So obviously you want to go with what makes you feel calm. So I feel like you're already kind of investigating this. So this is just like an extra little um, pointer, okay, from Spirit that wanted to come through. Okay, uh, let's see what's going on with this other person here. Let's see the Ace of Cups. We have the Three of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Oh, okay, so this person is feeling a lot of pain at the moment, um, possibly even heartbroken. Um, maybe because there has been a miscommunication or maybe because you're trying to make a decision that they might not exactly be very, like, fond of. Um, but this person definitely has a lot of emotions and a lot of love for you and they're feeling the pain of whatever it is that is happening. Let's see the Fool. Strength and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so some of you, so we do have Libra, as I said, showing up. We also have um, Leo, okay, showing up here. And Aries. This person's trying to do something. There, I don't see them being um, stagnant. So I don't know if this person has been stagnant um, in the past. At the moment, I see them moving towards building up the courage to do something that might be risky for them or something that is maybe even a little bit impulsive, a little bit new. However, they're not going to take this action in an impulsive way though. Um, but there's something here that they're like planning, something that they are investing in. And when I say investing, it could just be time and energy, right? In figuring out how it is that they can make some kind of a bold move towards you here that will require some strength and courage. Let me see the Ace of Wands. The King of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, okay, so, wow. It's like this person is really trying to make a comeback. Um, and in a way where I feel like, on the one hand, they're very grounded, like they're going to appear very, very practical and like they know exactly what they're doing. I feel like this plan that they're um, currently um, forming, it's, it's going to really take shape here as this King of Pentacles. They're wanting to come back. They're wanting to bring this back to life. They want to be more stable, more grounded. Now, they might though come in, they might appear a little bit defensive though, at the same time. Like they're defending themselves, maybe for something that happened in the past, maybe concerning this conversation that was had. Um, so yeah, do expect that. Let's see the Knight of Cups for the potential outcome here. The Knight of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Two of Wands. Yeah, there's a plan. I feel like, you know, even though this plan is taking shape here, right, with the with this King of Pentacles, as I said, I feel like there's still, there's still something that needs to be sorted. Um, this person is really, it's like they're taking their time here. And I feel like that's why they're defensive here. It's like their intentions are really positive, right? Like they want... Um, commitment with you. They want this to be stable, long-term, etc. And they are coming in here, all right, especially with this potential outcome um, as the Knight of Cups. But there is a work in progress, though, at the same time. The shift is happening. There is, there is a change that is happening, but it is still a work in progress. It's not yet completed. Whatever it is that needs to be completed 
in order for you to be like, okay, you know what, I'm 100% in. But I feel like it is getting there. Alright, Gemini, let's see if this resonated with you. Let's get the final message. And we have the full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. So yeah, sometimes when we look at the bigger picture, that can help us to stop overanalyzing certain details that might confuse us. I feel like that is the message for you. So yeah, that is it, Gemini. I thank you so, so much for watching and much love.